home, as you guys know. Uh, this year, I kind of switched back over, switched over to Staccato, shooting a lot of CZs, a lot of Glocks. Um, I still kind of switch back and forth sometimes when it comes to carrying, but one of the things I wanted to do, and that's really as I've been getting more comfortable with the Staccato, is these guns are legendary. Everyone knows that they are nail drivers and I've always really had a crush on them, but since they're so expensive, I kind of always kind of like backed off. Like, do I really want to spend the money? Do I really want to like take the dive, man, take the plunge? So this year I finally decided I would actually start trying these things out and take the plunge. And I must say, I am so excited that I did. These guns are different, you know. Uh, this is the Staccato CS. I'm super stoked about it. What I really like about it is that it is an all metal firearm that's finely tuned, that is like really comfortable CCW size, right? So like if you're used to carrying something like a Glock 19, or even for me, like I was carrying a CZ P10S for quite some time, and that's like a pretty small CZ, that's their subcompact model, and I love that gun. Shoots great, does all the things great, uh, but this is enough gun for me to really feel comfortable getting into a gunfight with, like it's enough gun to fight with, um, you know, some of these smaller guns where your pinky's hanging off, unless you have the mag and stuff like that. Like, do you really wanna be fighting for your life? Like holding onto that little thing, like fighting someone? Like there's just something about having a firearm that's like big enough and strong enough to be able to fight someone with. If I need to hit someone with this thing, I can. It's all metal, but for how much gun it actually is, like a Glock 19 size gun, for how much gun it actually is, it still has a very nice kind of a, the, the grip is smaller, like it's enough to wrap your hands around, wrap your fingers around, and really get a great, great purchase. I personally think, like, I see a lot of, you know, gun store politics, like gun stores, they see a female coming in, they try to offload a revolver because they know, like, well, it's the most dependable gun, they know that they can probably sell it to her, whatever, but I think this should be the CCW gun of the year, in my opinion. Sell it to all the moms, all the women. This is a perfect first-time shooter gun, like, because I feel like when it comes to female firearms and carrying, you're looking for something that isn't gonna, um, that's gonna be more easily concealable. So you kind of want a smaller gun, but yet smaller guns are hard to shoot. This gun is perfect. It is right in that spot where, yes, it is a smaller handgun, but because of the technology and the, and the, the it being a full metal frame and how tuned these guns really are, this is the easiest, like smaller gun that I've seen on the market to shoot. Don't even get me started about the other firearms in the industry that I keep hearing about, people keep talking about that are the smaller guns um, that people think are amazing because they don't actually shoot. If you want to try to try to take a subcompact gun out, take it to a competition and actually run it a little bit and see how it really actually works and like get a feel for it and get to know it. Um, then come back and tell me how cool you're, you know, I don't want to say names, but the smaller guns that everyone's always talking about, right? So the Staccato CS, uh, I've been extremely happy with it. I've been able to put really good follow-up shots. That's like kind of more of an issue that I find with the smaller guns is like, yeah, the gun will go bang, but it's doing, all, it's doing everything. But because the way Staccato creates these things, that slide is like butter, right? And the frame deals with so much that you're able to just sit there and sit on target. Boom, 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 boom. And in many cases, like my dot's not even leaving, um, not even leaving the window, to be completely honest with you. Um, it does have a safety. That was something to kind of get used to when it comes to being like, coming from being a striker fire guy, because I'm used to just, you know, boom, I pick my gun up, it shoots. It's like a remote control. It's like a, like a channel changer. You know, you push the button, it goes bang, right? But I actually really like this because I do carry appendix. And so carrying appendix, there's a lot of competition in your pants going on. You know what I'm saying? Like there just is. Uh, so I've come to actually really like the safety. Um, it's a little bit of a thing that you should train for. So like you pick the firearm up, you know, it's like transitioning to an optic. Like at first it's gonna be kind of weird because you're gonna be chasing the dot. You're gonna be chasing the dot. And you're like, where the heck is the dot? But after a little bit, you start to kind of be like, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is you start to present. So I'd say with the with the thumb safety, you want to start getting it to where that presentation, the second your gun's in the fight, that safety's on. It's a little bit of training, but in terms of a smaller gun that's easily concealable, that is enough gun to get into a gunfight, I can't say that I'm, uh, I could be any more pleased with this gun. The other thing I really like about it, other than the actual size of the grip, the smoothness of the action, the size of the weapon,
weapon itself and the way it feels in my hand is you're not ever gonna get anything better than a 1911 trigger. You're just not, like the triggers in 1911s, um, they're just, they're just the best triggers like they just are so now you bring that trigger back in play it's easier to stay on target having a safety so that when you do like have the gun in your pants and it's moving around in your pants you actually have that safety that is going to keep you feeling extra safe to uh, go along with the fact that you have a beaver tail safety if you're working and you're around kids this is another huge thing is you know if you're carrying appendix like little kids like are around your legs all the time and doing all this other stuff so it makes me feel even more comfortable when I have a safety on my firearm multiple safeties built into the firearm um, when they're running around and doing stuff and you know they're at that kind of waist height a lot of times so that also is something that I really like about these firearms um, I have had to kind of retrain myself from the Glock grip angle you know that Glock has that more 45 degree grip angle and this these sit a little more upright in your hand but the advantage to that is when you're firing if you're locking everything out you're more stiff and so you can lose some of your recoil management whereas when you're a little bit more up uh, upright like this you have that bend in your arms to manage that recoil so that's actually turned out to be a little bit of an advantage as I've been running competitions and shooting these things. The third thing that I know people are really worried about with Staccato is reliability. Um, I know they had kind of a bad rap for a while in the marketplace with regards to just being like a race gun or a competition gun. So it was kind of like, well, I don't know if it's gonna have the same reliability as say my Glocks or the other guns that are just like bangers, right? That are mil spec and all that stuff. So. What I have noticed with these bad boys is total reliability. So on my Staccato C2, um, I put about 1500 round through it without cleaning it on purpose because I'm building up the courage to know that I can depend on that firearm. And I have had one jam and I think it was am ammo related, but no other issues other than that. And so uh, what I've seen in experience and what a lot of my guys at different agencies that are now all a lot of agencies guys are carrying staccatos. What I'm seeing is that that rel reliability consideration is out the window when they revamp, the company revamped a lot of things. So this is now one of the most commonly carried firearms I'm seeing on like the SWAT and SEB teams out there in the game is the Staccato brand. So Staccato has done a total overhaul and I want to just give them my higher, highest recommendation recommendation for making firearms that are on the high end of things. Basically what you're doing is you're getting uh, a race capable gun, a competition capable firearm, a gun that would give you an edge in a competition uh, scenario, and you're turning it into a dependable firearm for everyday life and personal protection. And that's what I really love that they've done uh, in Staccato. All these mods that you see on here, I haven't touched anything internal to the firearm, but um, the Hollow Sun Optic and the uh, Streamlight, the TLR7, these were all purchased from the website. So you guys can get all this stuff done and get the firearm sent to you finished, which I also think is really cool because who wants to run around and get all this stuff after you get your firearm? You just wanna get it, put it all together and roll with it. Anyways, quick review, man. On the Staccato CS, this thing has been amazing. Boom!